when we discuss form and composition for Da Vinci's Last Supper, the first thing a viewer would focus on is to, in Da Vinci's Last Supper is, of course, Jesus. He is centered in the mural painting, extending his arms with his disciples seated at his sides. Uh, if we look on the previous slide, uh, you can also see where each disciple is then also labeled. Uh, they're named, and you can decipher where Jesus is, Judas, and all the other disciples. Uh, it is clear that they are balanced, with six and six on either his left or right side, and they're symmetrical in their composition, uh, somewhat in groups of three. The three tends to be a theme throughout the painting, uh, somewhat perhaps referencing the concept of trini the Trinity in Christianity, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. There are three windows behind them. Um, the disciples are in groups of three. Uh, because Jesus is so centered in the painting, and he's pictured wearing bright red and a blue cloak around him, the viewer is drawn to Jesus first due to the centered balance and the brightly contrasting colors he's wearing, whereas the colors worn by the disciples are in fact muted. The entire painting is definitely organized and controlled, like as previously stated, Da Vinci was very meticulous, took his time in all of his thought and his execution of his paintings. Um, is the disciples very intentionally placed next to other disciples. So he's got his closest disciples and in inner circle close to Jesus. We have Judas and James the Greater and John um, all right there near him. Uh, da Vinci was meticulous in calculating. He took years to complete the painting and every aspect is intentional. There are no accidents.